I hate to be the harbinger of bad news, but here's something that is unlikely to travel well with India's IT employees or those looking to join the information technology sector in India. As per reports, IT pay packages this year are expected to drop by as much as 40%. Meaning, if your senior from college was offered a lakh per month when she joined an IT firm from campus last year, your offer letter may read 60,000 rupees a month. I know that's not fair, but that's the reality. The job sector is not in a great shape. What or whom should you blame is the question. Well, this story has multiple villains. Let's start with demand versus supply. You see companies, IT or non-IT, hired massively during the COVID-19 pandemic. The world turned to wild, World Wide Web. Tech companies needed more resources to meet the growing demand. And so they hired across verticals. IT, marketing, human resources, you name it. But now with the pandemic coming to an end, there is a new normal one where companies, again IT and non-IT, find themselves overstaffed. And what's the result? Layoffs and fall in demand for staff. In comparison, the number of college graduates have not dropped. If anything, every year you have more and more graduates. That skews the demand supply graph against your paycheck. And here's what else is not helping your salary, the state of the global economy. In India, a lot of IT employees work with Silicon Valley tech giants or European firms. Now, in case you have not noticed, Western economies are not faring too well. The UK, for example, entered recession last week. Recession and reduced wages go hand in hand. And they also lead to layoffs. People are losing their jobs across the pyramid, from junior staff to mid-senior workers. Layoffs mean there is also a large pool of talent available to join immediately. A lot of experienced resources are currently out of job. Many of them are ready to take a pay cut, if that means they will have an assured offer. HRs don't have to try too hard to shop for talent. So what this does basically is it reduces your bargaining power. And here's another villain in the story. That's automation, of course. Many of the IT jobs are being eaten away by artificial intelligence and automation. We have been telling you stories about how companies that are laying off employees are also posting ads for workers skilled in AI. It is a fact that AI is eating jobs, if not directly, then indirectly. Big tech firms are now looking for engineers skilled in AI. They are looking for AI programmers. And these are not skills too many IT graduates can claim to have. And these changes in the demand, this change in reality, is expected to affect all. If you are a top executive in a tech company and you are planning to make a switch in the coming months, you may get the kind of offer you were hoping to. By the way, it's the same with variables and bonuses this year. Reports say this year IT employees may also see a cut in their variables. Basically, it's not a great year for the IT industry or for the tech sector or employees working in IT. But I want you to be hopeful and I will tell you why. You see, exceptions are the norm. And exceptions are always made for employees who are good at what they do. Did you know, not too long ago, Google offered an employee a 300% hike? Let me just repeat that. A 300% hike. This employee was working, uh, was moving to another firm. So Google bent over backwards to retain them. And this employee was not even skilled in AI. And yet that offer was made. This is the same Google, by the way, that is laying off 12,000 employees. That's almost 6% of its global workforce. Recession or no recession, hiring free or not, exceptions are always made for some talents. So don't give up just yet. We are now available in your country. Download the app now. Get all the updates on the move.